hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome to like subscribe share and comment and if you want to be part of the graceful family same standard procedure you like you subscribe you share and you comment right okay 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 all right so today we are going to talk about okay we're not talking about anything really i'm just doing this intro because um i think about a month ago during my birthday month like the first week of august i got um a tattoo <laughs> so i got a tattoo all right i've always wanted to get a tattoo for like the past four years if i'm not mistaken but I wanted to be sure the kind of tattoo I wanted to get. And um, I woke up one day in 2021, August, and decided I'm ready and I know what I want and I'm okay with having this for the rest of my life. So, yeah, guys, uh, I got a tattoo and I'm going to show you the vlog, right? So I couldn't post this vlog because my mom is, yo, my mom is very particular about these things. My mom is not easy with these things like, tattoos piercings and all of that so she's a bit you know so i needed her to know first before i put this video out because she does watch my videos right so i vlogged the entire weekend that weekend when i got the tattoo and stuff like that but i couldn't post it like i said right so the video to like the the video to follow is going to be the the procedure how it felt and i must say guys um tattoo is not painful it is not painful and i know some people because i'm christian they're gonna judge me and and but it's fine it's all right each to his own guys every person has one life you do what you see fit with your life i get anyway i'm gonna show you guys the vlog you guys should enjoy so i'm I po i'm posting it today you know because my mom found out and i didn't tell her myself so i just kept quiet okay so my dad i surprised him like was that hi so we had had this chat before my dad wasn't intense about it i remember when we had the conversation about tattoos he's like oh my god you're like scared uh is it going to show blah 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 and we laughed about it right so he seemed pretty chilled so i knew he wouldn't have a problem so i went to get the tattoo and i came back home was like hey guess what i got a tattoo and then it's like hey bro you like things hi hey, you, you like things and then it's like okay fine we moved on uh he he thinking he did not so he didn't have a problem with it so yeah went about yeah so i waited for my mom to know and i didn't tell her just yesterday yeah two days ago actually uh she sent me a message she's like you have a tattoo on your hand why <laughs> and then i explained uh the reason behind the tattoo which is like the constant reminder that god has gracefully anchored me so i got an anchor and then um, underneath it, it's written gracefully anchored. So uh, for me, like this is a constant rem reminder that God has, God is constantly my anchor. In storms, he stands in the center of it all and gives me peace. In every season, no matter how storm it is, I always have my anchor who is Jesus Christ. So I felt the need to ink it on my, like on my hand, guys. Like, it's, I don't know how, you're probably going to say it, but it's right yeah on my hand so yeah it's a constant reminder that god has me and god continuously um shows up in my life in ways that i don't like you know in, in ways that i wouldn't expect and god has done so much for me like i'm anchored it doesn't matter what i go through it doesn't matter how hard circumstances that i'm in are but god is always anchoring me and i mean this year is a year of anchor we are anchored we are not drifting it's the year of anti-drift so you are anchored in everything no matter how tough it is so this touch is a constant reminder that god anchors me in every storm in every season so you're gonna see it wasn't painful it's was really chilled like nothing deep you're gonna see and then you're gonna see the explanation you're also gonna get the explanation behind me getting the tattoo and then yeah so like i said i explained to my mom and then my mom was like i'm not happy i'm not happy and then i'm like oh okay that's what i said even i was pushing it you know because i'm like it is what it is she's like and then she sent a message she's like oh okay it's fine but just know that i'm not happy you know how i feel about those things i'm like oh sorry ma um but i have it already and yeah and then we moved and then after that um she called me she had just uh re re redesigned her sitting room she called me and when she video called me guys i was panicking because i thought oh she's coming in for me 
she called me she was showing me her lunch and showed vibes she's okay guys at the end of the day i think our parents start understanding that we are growing and it is what it is so do enjoy the vlog um if you've got a tattoo already tell me what your experience was and then also share your comments on stigmas surrounding tattoos and i'm not saying people should go and get tattoos if you want to go if you don't want to also but yeah don't let people lie to you it's not painful it's it's just it, it's ticklish that's what i can say yeah so guys next 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 yeah guys we're reporting live from mega c Hi. <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome to like subscribe <laughs> share and comment and if you want to be it's part so of the graceful family you gotta subscribe you gotta like you gotta share you gotta comment so yeah i get it guys so today i'm i'm, I'm doing I'm, I'm getting guess what I'm getting uh, I'll tell you in a few but I've contemplated this for like about four years or so mm -hmm. I feel like I'm ready it's time um, and yeah and then I'll explain to you what it means to me and why I'm getting it I get but let's it in talk a few. about the way the <laughs> it's on. It's on. No. Gazenga peineilua Gazenga bandeira Gimu ane bobo ma e Mara it's cold. Dulamon don't care. Stay in your house. No, I'm not Drama. Drama. No, it's not. <laughs> but yeah. But I need you to come this side. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. It's cold, guys. Look, look at how the jacket is doing. <laughs> It's very I think cold. This is our Uber. Okay. You guys on the flip side. Okay. Bye. Remember, we told you guys.
done for the surprise. You are yeah. not the surprise. <laughs> Got my first ink, guys. It wasn't so painful. Yeah. But so what's gonna happen is we're gonna go to a gotcha plate. Yeah, so you know why we did this actually. We're not people to do this. I actually wanted us to come with a taxi, but it was so cold in the morning. <laughs> anyway, Untugi threw shade at me the other day. I see you guys are always at restaurants and stuff like that. You're not relatable. Yeah. Uh, apparently we're not black enough. <laughs> Imagine. We're not, uh, no, 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 not black enough, but we're not ghetto enough. So we're today we, 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 we took it to the hood. We're gonna have a quarter session we're and then I'm gonna three. Yeah, we're zone three DK. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you guys the story time behind the ink. Okay, right. catch you later. Hey <laughs> okay, guys. Hey guys. This is Chili, chili pepper. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where we at. So they is a yeah, Silana guys. Yeah, I'm here. Sanitize, please. Yeah. It's important. Oh, this place is nice. Okay, it's nice and cozy. But the going to have school, school, Space No, I don't want that. I also don't want I'm gonna end up everything. Oh, okay. Which one is that one? Oh. Which one are you gonna have my egg? I think I'm gonna have the one here too. Because I don't like mushrooms. I think I'll have separate cheese and archa and chocolate and then chips and eggs and what's it? I think the first one makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It yeah. Be I'm gonna have the first one. Okay, I'll see. You can have a different one because I want to have the Okay. Okay, so guys, here are the extras name. I mean, I'm gonna add fillet. Does mine have Russian? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna add fillet, chicken fillet. I wish they had Evo. I wonder if it makes sense to put avocado. <laughs> Good God. I'm gonna massage it as well. Friends, decide which one are you having? Okay, so I'm trying to get then we'll review what I'm not doing wrong. Guys, let's in the house. Let's in the house. So, you guys, fun fact, me, cotton is my favorite, but I think I've been saying this. So, I'm going to try to. Every time I have to do this thing, it's a new guys. I have to. <laughs> Dijon. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a big bite. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay. So guys, and we also bought wings to add. We should come through. Where should we come through? We don't know. Inform us. This looks tasty. I can't wait to dig in. Yeah, it's yummy. So guys, you know, I'm thinking, oh yeah, so today I got my first skin pack. So I was going to tell you guys the story behind it. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to put snapshots. I think after this part, I'm going to put snapshots on the actual tattoo that I got. Um, it's an ankle and it's written gracefully and gracefully. If you know me, you know that my life is a life of grace. It's a story of grace. I'm being carried by the grace of God and everything that I do. And uh, to me, this means that it's a constant reminder that no matter whatever storm you put, I'm not going to sink. 
because that creates political reasoning. But in a situation I'm going to go there, I, I'm not going to tremble, or am I going to be like sinking, or am I going to die? No storm is going to take me out because I'm gracefully anchored by God, and he, He's always with me in every season, in every circumstance, guys. So I'm in love with the ink, and it was not painful at all. It wasn't. I think I anticipated a great pain because this. I, actually, one of the reasons why I get it, I got it, is because I felt so much pain in my life where I thought I got this is I'm out, it's done. But God has always carried me, He's always picked me, He's always given me new blessings, He's always refreshed me with new wine and all of that. So this teaching is a reminder that even when I was, even when I, I feel like I'm drowning, because I'll never drown, but even when I feel like I'm drowning, God has an anchor in between. He carries me out of it. And you guys should also watch um, the series by Pastor My Taught and Cut. That series is everything. It tells you that God always with you no matter what no matter what you go through just let him go through like this is a year to exercise your faith whatever you want go for it and always remember that god is anchoring you no seasons no times guys bye bye don't forget don't forget don't forget what god said don't forget to be light don't forget to be love don't forget to be kindness and if you want to be part of the graceful family you know what to do let's like let's subscribe let's share and let's comment tell me what's your favorite food bye